sure I'm recording. Yep. What's going on everyone? It's Ken here. This is going to be a little bit different from my usual videos. Um, I'm not in front of a camera right now. Uh, but what I have here, uh, what I'm going to do for you guys today is show you how to fully flash your Nokia N900. Yeah, I know it's a, a pretty uh, old device here, but I've been scouring the internet trying to figure out how to just flash this thing back to stock. And all the instructions that I've come across online, whether it be the wiki page uh, where all the instructions are held, like it's really complicated um, to read through all of that. And just to get a very simple task done is just flash it back to stock. So that's what I'm going to show you here. It's actually really simple. Um, all the stuff that I've been reading made it look really hard, but honestly, it's actually really simple. And there's not many videos on how to do this. Um, and the ones that I did find on how to do this were actually just loaded up with, honestly, very terrible music and no voice instruction whatsoever. Um, so that's why I'm doing this here today to maybe if anyone comes across this old gem of a little device here and they want to flash it back to stock in order to, uh, you know, put some penetration suites on here. Uh, more on that later. Um, you need to flash it back to stock and make sure everything's up to date before you go ahead and do that. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to link a few uh, links in the description. This is going to be for the US version of the Nokia N900, um, but I'm pretty sure all this really, um, all this, you know, you can do whatever, you know, if you're in the UK, you know, you've got your, uh, all your files here. Just find the one that pertains to you. Um, I got, like I said, I have the US version, so we're going to go ahead and show you how to do this. So first, what you're going to need, I actually should move that first. What you're going to need, um, go to this website. You're going to need a flasher tool. Uh, here's the version for Windows. Uh, 3.5, 2.5.2.2.exe, uh, XP and Vista, 32-bit, so make sure you're running 32. Uh, it, if you want to try and do it in 64-bit, best of luck to you. <laughs> you're going to have problems. You're going to have a bad time. <laughs> so go ahead and download that. I've already installed it and everything. It's going to just going to download an exe. It's going to install it for you. And from here, run it from the start menu. Uh, it's over here under Mamo. Mamo Flasher and Mamo Flasher 3.5. And you're. it's basically just going to take you to your uh, where Mamo Flasher is actually located. Um, you're also going to need two files from this link. Uh, once again, this is for the uh, U.S. version, but make sure you know if you have something different, just buy, download the one that can, pertains to you. There is ones that have in bold latest, latest, latest. Make sure you download the latest for yours. In which case, this is the latest for the U.S. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. You know, I've already downloaded this. So you're going to need the one that has the big, you know, in um, caps combined. Uh, you're going to need that as the latest. You're also going to need another file that's the latest uh, version, uh, which is uh, this one right here. Latest version of EMMC content for the Nokia N900. What this file is, uh, you know, it says vanilla in the file name, so make sure you have the vanilla one and the combined one. What this does is it um, reformats the 32 gig storage and um, you know reloads it up with the factory stuff. Um, don't worry about this spot of red text here. If you're just following what I'm doing, don't worry about this. Um, I'll show you what to do. Um, so what the you know what the vanilla version does is it just rewrites the 32 gig storage internal storage. What this one does, um, the combined is that's your uh, firmware, your operating system, everything else. So you have storage, operating system. So you're going to have those two files. So we're going to open up those, uh, the location for those files. Uh, I forget where I had them. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I know it's in my downloads folder. <sighs> actually, you know what? No, it's not in my downloads folder. It's actually in. I moved it into my Mamo Flasher. I actually renamed those files. Here's the vanilla one that does the uh, 32 gig storage. I re just I just renamed it to vanilla just to make things simple. And then you know my firmware, I just renamed it firmware. So keep this keep this open 
we're going to need uh, to drag and drop here. So what you're going to do, I actually wrote myself some notes here. It's very important. Take off the back of your phone so it's exposing the battery and you know this, um, the micro SD card slot. And keep the keypad open. What you're going to do is take your USB cable. Uh, you plug, you know, plug in the USB cable into your computer and so you've got the other end ready to go into your phone. Hold down the letter U as in your umbrella on your um, on your Nokia N900 and plug in your N900 to the USB cable while holding down the letter U. Once you do that, keep holding down the letter U. You're going to see a faint Nokia symbol on your phone. It's going to go ahead and detect and install the uh, um, necessary drivers for your Nokia. Once are all the uh, necessary drivers are installed, um, let's see here. Once it's installed, what we're going to do is type in flasher tech 3.5 space tech uppercase F space and then go ahead and since you know I wrote vanilla right here we're gonna drag and drop vanilla right there add another space throw in tack little F and tack big R I'm assuming the big F is for flash and the little r is the little flash is for format and the l big r is for reboot um, before i go ahead and send this command um, it's very important that once this is done once this command is through and it says finished and your phone's going to start rebooting do not let it boot it is very very important do not let it boot once the command line says it's finished flashing when it's done you know it's going to say 100% finish and you're going to get a uh, a cursor again take out your battery and your USB cable. It's very important that this phone does not boot <laughs> when this is done because we have to run the next command afterwards without letting it boot in between. Very, very important. I don't know what's going to happen if you do let it boot, but you're not going to have a very good time. So we're going to go ahead and send this command using enter. <laughs> It's going to disconnect and then reconnect in the right uh, mode by itself. So just let it go. I'm going to transfer the first. This may take a moment. I'm doing this in real time and I'm holding my phone in my hands right now. I still have the back off exposing the battery so that once this is done, I can, I can yank out the battery. waiting 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 finishing it is done go ahead and yank out the battery there we go there goes the battery I pulled out the USB cable and disconnected the battery so once your you know your phone's gonna instantly um, power off since there's no power go ahead and throw your battery back in don't turn it on we're gonna do the uh, first step once again which is hold down the letter U and plug in the USB cable and keep holding U until it uh, um, detects your phone just kind of ignore this the flasher is not going to work unless it's you know it's not going to work if there's an issue so don't worry about screwing up your phone if some warning comes down here um, so here we go now that we've got the phone back in held down you you see the faint Nokia logo on your screen keep the back off once again we're going to type in uh, just hit the up arrow on your keyboard and erase all that up until the big F 
and we're gonna go ahead and drag over the firmware file space tack little f once again wait until this is done once it's done yank the battery and the USB cable so I'm gonna go ahead and send that once again real time this is actually not hard at all um, so I hope someone you know actually needs this and I hope I help someone out because all that documentation that I came across on the web how to do this so confusing but we're just gonna wait for this to finish da 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 This one takes a little bit longer. Just let it finish. Also, go check out my update video. I'm starting two new channels. Uh, one's a gaming channel. We're going to do Let's Plays. Uh, we're going to have LAN parties do Let's Plays. Record it, have fun, crack jokes, make fun of people. Well, mostly each other. And the other one's going to be, uh, yep, once it's done f successfully, uh, you don't have to, you know, quickly yank out the battery because there was an attack R for reboot. So it's not going to reboot. It's just going to sit there. But go ahead and pull out the USB cable and pull out the battery. And then just go ahead and throw the battery back in. and hold your power button and let it boot up uh, the first boot is going to take a little while uh, so you're gonna get those dots that run back and forth across the screen for a couple minutes but yeah the next uh, next channel is a uh, computer review channel where we're gonna do a uh, um, unboxings, reviews, we're going to do tutorials, build guides. I have a build like build guide coming up real soon. Uh, if you're watching at the time of this post. Um, oh, very important. I forgot to mention. When you power up your phone for the first time after this flash, do not turn it off. Do not yank the battery. Unless you're absolutely certain. Like, it, like it's been trying to boot up for about an hour. If it's trying to been if it's been trying to boot up for an hour, then yeah, something went wrong. Um, but do not hold the bat. Don't don't push any buttons. Just let it boot. That's very very important. Otherwise, you'll probably have to flash it again and you know not screw up. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, computer review channel. We're gonna do build guides, tutorials, um, you know, re reviews. I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, this is kind of an un informal video I'm doing right here. I'm waiting for my phone to boot, actually. I still got the uh, dots that are running back and forth. It's going to look like the screen turns off a couple times. Don't push anything. It did not turn off. Yeah. As you can hear, it's actually booting up. And you're going to be presented with the uh, the Nokia N900 welcome screen, where it's going to tell you, language, you know, choose your language, your region, set the time, set the date. You're all set. This also fixes um, if you have a corrupted internal memory. Uh, the 32 gigs is internal is corrupted. You hook it up to your computer. It doesn't mount. Uh, those kind of issues. This also fixes that because we actually uh, rewrote the uh, 32 gig um, um, file system, whatever. I don't know what the vernacular for that is. I'm not much of a big Linux guy. I'm, I'm getting into it. Um, but yeah, I got the setup screen, so this is going to be the end of video. Um, I hope this helps out some of you guys. Um, and that's really much all I have to say. So, peace out, guys.
are going to stop.